did. You had to remind me? Well, of course. We just want to help keep you motivated. I was thinking about Roxas. He's trapped here in my heart. But he needs a body to be himself again. Well, don't worry. Yenzo's working on a way to get him free. I'll bet you he's got the perfect body all lined up. You've got the gummy phone, Sora. Why don't you try giving him a call? Uh, I guess so. Yeah, why not? Oh, hiya, Sora. Your Majesty! <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, hey, uh, hey, what? Wrong number? No, Rico and I are visiting Radiant Garden. Actually, we were just about to call you guys, but it looks like you beat us to the punch. Sora, is something wrong? I wanted to pick your brain. In order for us to recomplete Roxas, he needs a body, right? Yeah, to put his heart in. Hmm. Huh? Replicas. Huh? Well, replicas are basically human. Oh, uh, what? Oh, yeah. You wouldn't remember. The previous Organization 13 developed replicas. Realistic vessels to place hearts in. They're so real, in fact, that you'd actually mistake them for people. And with hearts, the replicas will become people. Cool. But if we get our hands on a replica, will Roxas look like himself when he's recompleted? Yup. The replica takes the form of the heart inside it. That's perfect! I'll talk to Ienzo. He was in the organization back then, so he might know more. Great. Thanks. Wait. Do you guys think they're after replicas too? Nope, they definitely said a black box. Who's that? The organization and Maleficent. Oh, oh. Uh, I guess we forgot to mention it. Huh, it's okay. But there's something you guys should know about one of their members. Huh? So let the rest of us worry about Roxas and Naminé for now. You journey on and keep an eye out for Terra. Yes, your majesty. Stop that! <laughs> <laughs> they don't change, do they? <laughs> nope, that's their best quality. Well, we gave Merlin the vestments for Kyrie and Axel. Let's go stop by Ansem the Wise's study. Right. 